Welcome back to the my YouTube channel. Sorry, I've been busy so much that I've only been able to make more video content at this time. Actually, I've wanted to create content for a long time, but because there are urgent things that need to be done immediately, I have to stop for a while from the world of YouTube. Okay, in my first video after this long break I will show an animated version of my newest video. So the story is that there is a man named Nano who is waiting for the bus at the bus stop, at the same time there is a beautiful woman named Nana. Because we were both waiting, Nano finally decided to have a conversation with Nana. Are you curious about what the story is like? Watch this video until the end, enjoy watching this video. Excuse me, may I sit here? Oh, of course. Please, have a seat. Thank you very much. This is my first time taking the bus in this area. I'm still a bit confused about the schedule and routes. No problem. I was once in your shoes too. If you need any help, I can tell you the right routes. That's very kind. I'm really new to this city, so I'm still learning a lot. Oh, I can help you with that. I've lived here since I was born, so I know a lot about this city. My name is Nana, by the way. Nice to meet you, Nana. I'm Nano. I actually just moved here for a new job. Wow, that's quite a big change. Where are you originally from? I'm from a small town outside of this city. It's my first time living in a big city, so everything feels a bit overwhelming. I can understand that feeling. But this city has a lot of interesting things to offer. What made you move here? I got a job at a tech company. They offered me an opportunity that was hard to pass up. That's a big success, isn't it? Which company is it? Maybe I've heard of it. It's a company called Technotech. They focus on mobile app development. How about you, Nana? What do you do for work? I'm a freelance graphic designer. I enjoy having the flexibility in my work, although it can be quite challenging at times. That sounds very interesting. I'm always impressed by people with artistic talents. Do you have a portfolio I can see? Of course. I can show it to you on my phone later. Do you have any specific interests aside from your job at Technotech? I enjoy playing music. I'm an amateur guitar player, but I love learning new songs. Guitar? That's awesome. I also love music. What kind of music do you play? I like playing acoustic music, so usually, I go for more relaxed and melodic songs. How about you? What's your favorite type of music? I enjoy various types of music, actually. But what I enjoy the most is pop and alternative music. I often go to local concerts to support X bands. That must be fun. Maybe you can recommend some bands or places to see live shows? Sure, I'll give you a list of some of my favorite bands later. There are some great places in the city to catch live performances too. Oh yeah, what city did you say you were going to? Um. I mean the name of the city, or maybe the name of the region? Hey, yeah, the name of the city is Blue City. Have you ever heard of this city? M. I don't think I've ever heard of that city. Is there something very special in that city? There is the most beautiful woman in the world, namely me. I come from that city. Wow, you're originally from there, right? I just know it. The city must be very pleasant. Of course. In my city there are views of several mountains and a very beautiful stretch of beach, and a neat city there. It sounds really fun, can I visit your city sometime? To travel there. It sounds very fun, I will definitely show you the best direction for your trip, without me directing it seems like you can do it yourself. Eem. Okay then. I will try to make time to travel there later when I have enough time and enough money. It's okay if that is your plan for the future. I'll just wait for information from you. Oh yes Nana, may I have your telephone number? Why are you asking for my cell phone number? Because this is a very private thing. I'm sorry, Nana, if I have offended you, I asked for your cell phone number just for communication. Who knows, one day I will have enough time to travel to your very beautiful city. Hehe, <laughs> just kidding Nano. okay I'll give you the number later when our bus starts to arrive. Nana, you just embarrass me. Thank you very much Nana, I feel very happy to get to know you. Yes, no problem, oh yes, what is the name of the city of the company where you work? Is your company close to my city? As far as I know, the name of the city is Green City. 
but I don't know whether the green city is close to the blue city, because it's my first time coming to that city. It's okay, Nano. That's the case when people go to a new place for the first time, they don't understand much about the surrounding conditions and they have to adapt first to the area you are going to visit, then you will understand everything about that area. You are also right, what you have said, is that I really have to learn a lot, both about geographical conditions and the surrounding environmental conditions. I really agree with your previous opinion. May I ask you? Oh yeah Nano, by the way, is this the first time you've gotten a job outside your city? You can ask me, Nana, please. That's right, this is my first time out of town for work. That's why I feel confused about this. And I was very lucky to meet you so I got a lot of information through you. Have you ever tried to get information about where you work from the internet or from other media that is relevant to where you work? Yes, that's it. I've only got some information and I haven't had time to search for it on the internet and so on. To be honest, my communication device in the form of a cell phone was damaged a few days ago before I left here so I had very little information. I'm really sorry Nano, I'm very sad to hear that, your cell phone is broken but you're still enthusiastic about going to work. Good luck for your work. It's okay for me, Nana, there must be a lesson in everything that happened to me, thank you for giving me encouragement. You talked to me earlier that your cell phone was broken? But you asked for my cell phone number. Are you lying to me? No Nana, I'm honest with you. My cell phone is damaged and cannot be used at this time. Trust me. So how do you save my cell phone number, Nano? Don't worry, Nana, I am someone who memorizes things very quickly and I don't forget easily. In that case, okay. My number is 8547511. It's very easy Nana, the number is 8547511. I also bring paper and a pencil that I can use to write in case I forget. Wow, your memorization skills are really great, even though I only mentioned it once, you immediately remembered it. I'm proud of you Nano. Surely you have won a mathematics olympiad before, right? To be more precise, the physics champion is not the mathematics champion, because in the past I really liked the analogies and formulas. Wow, you are truly extraordinary. What an amazing achievement you have achieved. Congratulations. That's a really cool story guys. Yes, everyone definitely has their own abilities. Who knows, you might have more achievements than me. Yes, actually I still want to talk more with you. But my bus heading to the Blue City had already arrived so I had to excuse myself first to get on my bus. Okay, no problem. My bus seems to have arrived. Thank you very much for wanting to talk to me at this place. Nice to meet you Nana. You are welcome Nano. Until we meet again on another occasion. Okay, that was the video about the first meeting between Nano and Nana. What do you guys think about the video? Their conversation was very interesting. It's definitely very interesting. Stop saying it's not interesting. It's not interesting. That's okay, friend, because it's all just entertainment. Well, from the video it can be concluded that Nano is trying to give himself a way to start a conversation with this beautiful woman. With his distinctive language style and body language style he is able to make the person he is talking to more comfortable in having a conversation. The woman also felt comfortable when having a conversation with Nano even though it was the first time the woman had met. And after knowing the advantages that Nano has, Nano becomes more confident that Nano is a good person, so she wants to give Nano her cell phone number. Even though Nano felt suspicious when Nano told her that her cell phone had been damaged a few days before they had the conversation. So what is the next story like for Nano and Nana, guys? Okay, if that's the case, just wait for the next episode, guys. If this video is interesting to watch, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with all your friends. See you in the next video.